And finally, we talk about the seventh and final preseason game for the Inter Miami Herons. As you know, the Herons a big bird. Um, they go up against Newell's Old Boys. That is an Argentine club from Argentina. That's Lionel Messi's old teams from way back. So finally, finally, it's over. I mean. I'm going to make these separate videos tomorrow regarding... Actually, nah, I'm not going to make a separate video. It'll be in one video. Um, tomorrow, I'll probably do a preseason uh, recap. For this video alone, it is strictly this game alone between Inter Miami and Newell's Old Boys. And, I mean, <laughs> it's what you expect. So, um, Drake Callender versus Lucas Oyos. Um, then I forgot how to commentary, right? Yeah, commentary. All right. So, first half begins with New Old Boys uh, soccer ball, and we uh, we, uh, we start off with the corner. We went to Miami. That was conceded by Fernandez. In the second minute, there was a Ferrer um, Ferrer shot miss uh, from the header. Then a few whistles from there and there. Then in eleventh the minute, Diego Gomez tries again, but that was saved. There, um, by New Old Boys. Now, New Old Boys, um, trying to get the shot in for Brian uh, Calderera, but he but he missed it from the from the header from the head pass. There was an offside there. 18th minute, there was another miss by Diego Gomez. Then, uh, then in the 22nd minute, 22nd minute, there was a VAR. So, one of the happy was, um, it looked like we were fouled in the penalty box, but the referee said no, it is still no penalty. And I gotta tell you, finally, right? Um, this is an off off related topic, but you know how all American sports, um, you have somebody you you have a referee talking on the microphone and they would they'll they'll tell you what the call is. You know, with football they have the microphone saying, holding this and that. Uh, nowadays, it's basketball. You have the you have the press of the button with the microphone. And hockey, they do the same thing. And then recently, it's baseball. Umpires are now talking through the microphone. Everyone can hear. Now, it seems like MLS is doing it now. So, it's complete. So, so to the newcomers who are starting to watch these sports and you don't know the hand gestures or anything like that, well, now you don't have to worry too much about it. But as long as the referees are verbal, what's happening... And what the call is, now you know what happened. And they said no penalty, and and that's that that just sucks. Messi was getting ready to kick this um, ball to the back of net, and instead we don't get squat. And speaking of Messi, just we'll, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Anyway, um, um, that that's old boys was trying to get one, um, Agniaco Ramirez, but that was saved by Calendar. Um, and the next shot was blocked with Benaka. That was blocked uh, in the box. And then Messi with the soccer ball trying to come in from the left side, and he just it was it was a close it was a close call, but he wound up missing from the left. Oh, so close that could have been that would have been one nil right there for Miami right off the bat with Messi would have had a home crowd cheer and and, and in a way a crowd cheer because it is Messi it is Messi. Um, so that didn't happen because he, he just barely missed. Um, and seven minutes later, 30th minute, Luna Messi, he missed again from close to the left with a direct free. It was a free kick there. Um, it was a handball. So it was a free kick. And then completely missed it from the left to the left. Still, still scoreless there. Uh, 41st minute, Diego Gomez with the shot there, but he wind up missing, uh, to the right. In the 44th minute, Suarez gets blocked in the box. Um, corner kick for Inter Miami twice, and they're both conceded twice in a row, and that's how the first half ends. Multiple substitutions from both sides with new um, old boys and Inter Miami. Um, Messi does stay. Does stay. He does stay. In the 48th minute, uh, new old boys try to get one with Marco uh, Mijevic. But he but he ended up missing to the to uh, the right. 
51st minute, uh, Giovanni Chilaverano um, tries to get one from the right side, but that was saved by Calendar. Quarter kicker to Miami, that was conceded. Offside was called. 55th minute, es Esperdon Fernandez with the, with the shot from the right outside the box, but he missed to the right. And in the 58th minute, another missed shot by Messi. Three, three huge misses for Messi tonight. I mean, he, man, he was laughing about it. He was just like, I can't believe I missed. I, I can't believe I missed it. I can't believe I missed both of them. And then that was a and that was a corner kick too. Um, a corner kick here to Miami, and just Messi couldn't couldn't get to the back of it. And then after that, he gets subbed off after after an attempt miss by uh, Jeremias Perez from Newell's All Boys. And the person that replaced Messi is uh, Sunderland. Um, then after the substitutions, there was a dirty, uh, dirty foul by David Ruiz. I'll say that as much. Um, so he, he was shown a yellow card. Um, Capana tries to get one, but that was blocked. Intermami has a corner kick. Um, Intermami has a corner kick. And from the header, it's, it's, uh, it's Shea Nider, uh, Bolchelin. Uh, Borgelin or Borgelin, I don't know how to say his name. He's from the he's from the academy into Miami two coming up to play um for the for the squad and into Miami preseason. He gets one from the header from six yards out in the box, gets in there from the from the center to the left side. One nil Miami. What a goal! What a header there by by Borgelin, Borgelin. I if I pronounce that right. Hopefully I get that right. I doubt it though. But one nil not. Florida. 1 0 Miami now. Awesome. Um, fit, in the 66th minute, there was a missed attempt by Miljevic. Uh, he missed it too high up to the box. Uh, there was an injury there by Yannick Bright, so that that was delayed the match. Um, after that after the injury, they, were, they wanted to be in substitution. Gene Molta comes back in. There was a blocked shot by Perez. Um, he gets blocked. There was another injury. It's it's a, a valleys. He gets he gets hit in the head, um, so that it was not good. He winds up coming. He winds up coming off and replacing them. It's Ryan Saylor. I think. I hate to say this. I think I lost my patience with Ryan Saylor. I I just I'm telling you. I think I lost my patience with Ryan Saylor. Just telling you flat out. So after the substitutions. Uh, Capana would try to get one from the from the center of the box. That was saved by Newell's old boys. Um, Ar Armando Mendez with the shot, but he missed his to the left. Um, attempt saved by Giovanni um, Schifriano from the header. Uh, and Calendar has his one passing the ball up the head. And then... Um, I don't know if it was Gomez. It was somebody. I don't know. I don't, I don't think Gomez was there. But somebody passed it to Ryan Saylor. Saylor with a bad bounce. Bad bounce. And it was stolen away very easily by Franco Diaz. And Franco Diaz had no problem shooting this from the outs from the center of the box. Buries it with the sh with the kick. It's it's tie game. It's it, he equalized this one. It's one one. How do you fuck up that badly? I understand it's preseason. You're you're looking forward to the regular season, but oh my god, if you don't if you don't secure the soccer ball, and committed that kind of turnover, and then and they have them count it off, and then make that shot and makes it, you're not going to make it to the team. I don't know how you I don't know how you made it to the team last season. That was terrible. That is absolutely terrible. We would be in a different t conversation if that didn't happen. We probably would have won this game. We probably would have, but no, we're in this scenario that wind up being the final score for the rest of the game. How about the rest of the game? Did something happen? Well, sure it did. Uh, Angelo Martino gets blocked there from the left side to the center. Uh, 85th minute, Franco Diaz trying to get his second goal of the night. He gets, um, there was a shot from the outside the box. That was saved there. Um, um, Esteban Fernandez tries to get one from outside the box from the bottom right corner. That was saved there again Robert Taylor with the free kick and Robert Taylor completely missing from the outside of the box too high up uh and then one more attempt by Franco Diaz um 
and that block and that shot was blocked. Now, Inter Miami would get a corner, and that would wind up being conceded. Nothing there at all. There's your ball game. Uh, final score of this game is 1-1. Honors even draw. And, and in the entire preseason, in the entire preseason, let's see if I could do the math. All right, so let's see. 0-0-1, 0-1-1, 0-2-1. 0 3 1. Uh, 1 3 1. Let's see. Uh, 1 4 1 and then 1 1 4. I don't know. I don't give a fuck anymore. I don't give a shit anymore. Miami, Inter Miami did not have a winning preseason. I believe, and I'll, I'll talk more about this. I believe this was a. Um, I believe this global preseason tour thing was um I don't I don't think it worked. I just don't think it worked. I think it was a I I think I just I don't know. I don't know man. I don't know what to think about it. I think I'm I think as of right now I'm trying to collect my thoughts on it. I'm definitely gonna talk more about this tomorrow. But this game alone it's a it's an honestly even draw between Miami and Newell's old boys and I don't know, man. I don't know. A lot of problems with Inter Miami right now. For example, there's a lack of defense, lack of midfields, lack of back, especially the back line. Um, shots are just not going in, especially from the best, greatest soccer player in the globe. Not going in, and they need to they need to figure this out very quickly because in six days' time, they go they have the first regular season game against Real Salt Lake. And oh, by the way, after that Real Salt Lake game, they head out west to Carson, Los Angeles Galaxy, then before flying right back to East against our our one of our biggest rivals in a long time, Orlando City. That's that's March second. Figure it out. Do not let these guys get hurt, because if you do, there will be consequences. There will be problems for this team. Especially when it's when you when you did such a big idea like that, like a global preseason tour. When you go to El Salvador, then you go to Saudi Arabia, then you go to Asia, and then you're coming back home. Then they have to fly out to west coast of of United States. And then and then on top of that, you have the CONCACAF tournament. That's gonna their, their first game is gonna be on March 7th. That's a that's a Thursday. That's a nine o'clock game. I might go to a game that night. How might how are you supposed to do this? How? How do you keep up with all this? You're traveling to places in a short amount of time. I won't be surprised. This season will end up being a complete disaster. We'll talk we'll talk more about this in the upcoming weeks. Well, not coming weeks. I would say in a coming week or so. Tomorrow, we talk about the preseason tour and the preseason itself. What I think, what my thoughts is, how I think it doesn't work. How I think the preseason went down. How I think this was a terrible idea from the start. I'm going to go. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I think I lost my patience. And I shouldn't have. It's only it's only preseason, but you just it just makes you wonder a bit, you know? But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Into Miami's preseason is done. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. And that's going to do it for this video, folks. If you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, or content because Miami TV guys are back. And when he does, hit me right there with the inferior entertainment you deserve. Um, yeah, this is Miami TVG. Sign up, folks. Adios.